Thea and Henry's unhappy holiday. Thea and Henry had hoped to have a happy holiday. They had two whole weeks together to travel through France and they had decided to treat themselves and stay in hotels instead of hostels. Having taken the train from London to Paris, they hired a Honda. This little car was perfect as there were only the two of them and they didn't have much luggage. Their children were staying with their grandparents so they didn't need a big family vehicle. Neither of them had much experience of driving on the other side of the road so they thought it would be sensible to drive a short distance on the first day. They thought that they would make Fontainebleau their first stop as it wasn't far from Paris and neither of them had been there before. Henry booked a hotel online. They arrived early in the evening and parked the car behind the hotel. Thea was exhausted and stressed as she had done all the driving. The car hire company had told them that the sat-nav would work in English but they hadn't been able to make it speak anything other than French. Their French was reasonable, but not good enough to hear the directions fast enough whilst driving. Thea and Henry were also very hungry when they reached the hotel. They hoped the hotel would either have a dining room or be able to help them find a restaurant. But the hotel was hopeless. There was no dining room and the receptionist was Hungarian. Her French was impossible for Thea and Henry to understand and she spoke no English. There were no other staff in the hotel at that time, so the receptionist showed Thea and Henry to their room. The room seemed all right at first, but then the problems revealed themselves. It was chilly. So Henry turned on the heating. The heater did not heat up. Thea thought that a shower would make her feel better. There was no hot water. How can we stay here? Thea asked. The shower doesn't work and there is no heating. Henry thought they should cancel the second night he had booked. We can visit the palace early tomorrow and then drive to Bordeaux. Thea thought that would be a long drive at the end of a long day. Having concluded that it was the best solution, they went out and had supper in the first restaurant they could find. At least it had heating and the food was excellent. By the end of the next day, Having explored the palace of Fontainebleau and then driven to Bordeaux, they were shattered. They needed a hotel with heating and a hot shower. They found a hotel by the harbour. It had everything and everything worked. Thea and Henry were happy. However, they had not asked about the cost. In the morning, they checked the cost. It was horrifically high. They paid the bill and checked out. Then they spent the whole day trying to find a hotel that wasn't so expensive. They didn't want another long drive and the weather was awful, so they wanted to stay in the city. Having seen every hotel in Bordeaux, they decided that renting an apartment for a week would be the best thing to do. But there were no apartments available. Either they were closed because after the tourist season, or they were booked. At the end of another stressful day, they gave up and returned to the expensive hotel for the night. Henry suggested that they drive to the south of France the following day. The weather would be better and the hotels would be cheaper Thea agreed. So they set off at dawn in the dark and a pouring rain 
with the intention of driving all day. They drove for three hours and then the Honda made a horrible noise and the engine stopped. The rain was torrential. Thea burst into tears. This is the worst holiday we've ever had, she sobbed. I want to go home. I want to go home too, Henry said. He called the car hire company and told them that a car had broken down. The car hire chap said they would have to wait until the breakdown truck could be sent out. Thea and Henry had to wait for another three hours for the rescue truck to arrive. That was the final straw. They took the train to Toulouse, then a taxi to the airport. There were no flights or hotels. Thea and Henry spent the night in the airport terminal. They took the first available flight back to Heathrow. They had not slept or washed for 36 hours when they arrived home, but they had never been so happy to be home. <laughs>